Hi everyone and welcome to Creative Chelsea. Today I'd like to share with you my global Stampin' Video hop for June and the theme this month is the must-have craft item for 2021-2022. If you like this video please let me know by giving it a thumbs up or commenting below. If you want to see more of my videos press the subscribe button and click on the bell for notifications. If you need any Stampin' Up! products to make this card, you can visit my online store and the link is in the description box below. When you purchase Stampin' Up! products through me, you can earn free products. Check out my current customer appreciation products on my blog and the link is also listed below. Now I created this beautiful card using that must-have craft item and it is the new Soft Pastels Assortment by Stampin' Up! Now this Soft Pastels Assortment comes in a variety of colors and they do list which colors are in the pack here on the back at the top. So we've got Coastal Cabana, Daffodil Delight, Gorgeous Grape, Granny Apple Green, Mango Melody, Mossy Meadow, Night of Navy, and Poppy Parade. And so that gives us eight beautiful colors that we can create with. So then just as a side note to the colors I just mentioned, many of these colors can also be um, turned into other colors by just using a lighter variation of this color or even making it darker or combining these colors together. So there's so many options with these soft pastels. Today I'm going to be showing you three different ways to use the soft pastels to create this beautiful card. So let's go ahead and get started. So the stamp set that I chose to use today is the Hand Penned Petals, and this is a new stamp set in the 2021-2022 annual catalog, and it coordinates with the pen flower dies. And I really love these dies, and I'm excited to show you some of the images it cuts out. So to start, we're going to begin by stamping the large flower on some basic white cardstock in Evening Evergreen. And this is just a really beautiful dark green color that I have been using recently almost as a black. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to use these inside stamped images for inside of our flower and our leaves. And we're going to be stamping that in Versamark. And this is the first technique that I'm going to show you using the soft pastels. And it is to apply the pastels with Versamark to your image to get a really nice, subtle look. So we'll just begin by stamping each flower individually. So start with the large one. And that's just going to line up. It's not a perfect match to the inside of these petals here. So Versamark is a sticky ink and it can hold on to things like embossing powder and these, the chalk dust from these soft pastels. So you could also do this technique on scratch paper or you could do it on um, some excess cardstock. Either one is fine. So I, what I have is I've taken the Mango Melody, which is the darker yellow color, and the Poppy Parade chalks, and I've just added them to some scratch some scratch paper here on my cardstock, and I'm going to use a sponge dauber. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick up some of that chalk, and I'm gonna just pat it into the Versamark on my flower. So just pick up chalk and pat it. You don't want to rub it, because it can change the color of your cardstock as well. So once you started with your light color, then go to your darker color, and just add that to where you want it. And I just want that in the tips of my flowers. All right, so you're gonna get something like that and then you can just kind of blow off the excess. And then you'll just take a tissue paper and kind of wipe off any more that might be on the edge there. And you can see that it kind of changes the cardstock just slightly. So we're going to be cutting that out. But how beautiful that looks with that different um, variations of color from the yellow to the red. So now we're going to do, let's do this small flower next and kind of work with those same colors. So again, Versamark ink, 
and stamp that into that space there and then pick up some color and again I'm just using the same sponge dauber I'm adding a little yellow to the center and then pick up some of that poppy parade and add that to the outside edge and now we're going to do the leaves next so the leaves are single images so you just need to um, start with the large one and stamp that in the large leaves. There's three large leaves. Just kind of rotate your paper or your stamp to get it to line up. And then there's a small leaf near the flowers at the top. Just kind of stamp all those together. And then we're going to do the exact same thing, but this time we're using the mossy meadow. Just add a little chalk. To create dust and then with a different sponge dauber just go ahead and pat in that chalk dust over the versa mark we've got this beautiful image and then you'll notice that there's some areas here that we need a little color and so the technique number two that you can use with your soft pastels is the blender pen. And there's lots of different ways you can use this. You can pick up color right from your um, rubbed areas and then you're just going to add that color to those areas that you want the chalk in. Or you can even pick up color right from the chalk itself and add that. So this gives you a little more precise look. You can get it right into those fine details. And you also don't get any of that extra chalk dust where you don't want it. So it's kind of a really good technique for coloring images in as well. Okay, so our flower is all colored and ready to be cut out with the coordinating die. So we've got our coordinating die here and it lines up just perfectly with this image. And just add a little washi tape to keep it from moving and run this through your stamp and cut and emboss machine. All right, so that is ready for our card. So we'll go ahead and put that off to the side. And so then for our third technique with the chalk pastels is to create a beautiful gradient background. And you can create these with as many colors as you want. Today I just want to create a single color that goes from the center to white on the outside. And I'm again using the Mango Melody color. And I'm just going to place a lot of chalk right in the center where I want the kind of focal point for this gradient to be. Now, if you're using multiple colors, you could do, you know, different kind of hot spots where you want those colors to start and then blend out. So then with a soft tissue or paper towel, you're going to take, um, just kind of wrap it around your finger and you're just going to start blending that chalk dust into your cardstock and make sure to pick up the dust that's going to give you that nice soft gradient as you move away from the area you colored. And then once I'm ready, and I think I've got a good gradient, I just switch it over to a clean side and then brush off any excess. Like so. So you do get a little bit of like a texture where you've colored it. So there's a little bit of a darker areas here and there, but we're going to be covering those up with our images. And so I think it's going to turn out just really beautiful as our finished card. So I've used some of the other die cuts from the penned flower dies and I've cut out some 
beautiful flowers and leaves. And I've cut the flowers from Calypso Coral. And you can see here that when you combine those two chalk colors together, you get more of an orangey color. And so I felt like the Calypso Coral was a better match than the Poppy Parade for my card. I also cut out one of the scallops from that same die set. Um, it has this really beautiful scalloped piece. And this is from Mango Melody. And then the two leaves I cut are from Mossy Meadow. And then from another die set called Tailor Made Tags, I've cut out one of those with um, from basic white cardstock. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and start adding these to my card. I'm just gonna place some liquid glue here on the back of the scallop. And I'm gonna use my grid paper to just make sure that I place it nice and evenly on my paper so it's not crooked. So I've lined it up and then just kind of eyeball it where you want it, which is about one third up the card base here. Now I think I forgot to mention what size the basic white cardstock is that I did the gradient on. And this piece here is um, a half inch smaller than the card base. So that would be five inches by three and three fourths inches. And so I'm just going to, um, I'm not really measuring, just kind of eyeballing where I want this Mango Melody piece to be. And then I'm going to flip it over and trim the sides. Then I'm going to add the beautiful flower that we made. Again, just a little liquid glue. Just in a couple places, just to hold it down. And this I want to actually come off the edge slightly and up so that I can see a lot of that beautiful color um, even after I've added some of these other elements. And then we're going to take the um, flowers and I did cut them out with adhesive sheets on the back just so that I can adhere these easily So you just remove that paper and these are going to get tucked in behind our flower just to kind of help pop from the background Next, we're going to stamp our greeting on the tag. Again, I'm gonna use Evening Evergreen, and I'm using the Thanks from the Hand Penned Petals stamp set. Before I add the greeting to my card, I want to do this fun little ribbon detail that comes from the tag. So I have five inches of Mossy Meadow and it's the braided linen trim. And this product actually will be retiring at the end of June. So if you're interested in getting it, the item is listed below in the description. And then I'm gonna wrap around that trim with some white Baker's twine. I'm just gonna tie a knot first. And then just pull these two just to kind of bring that down a little closer to the tag and then tie a bow. Then I'm gonna go ahead and shorten these because I don't need to unravel such a long piece. So then I've just cut those to about an inch to an inch and a half. And then I like to take my take a pick tool and use that to unravel the ends all the way down to the fold. Okay, so it end up looking like that. And now that's ready for our card. You know, I'm going to actually trim these white tails just slightly. So they're not quite so big. And we can add that to our card with some dimensionals. 
and just place it near those flowers. I'm just gonna place it so I can see a little bit of that stitching right underneath, just like that. And now we're ready to put this on our card base. I've got a little larger piece of Mossy Meadow Green, so it's cut 1 8 inch larger than my main piece here. So that would be 5 and 1 8 and 3 and 7 eighths, I think it is. So then you just go ahead and add this behind your basic white cardstock, and there's about a sixteenth of an inch all the way around, and then place that on your card base. And I'm using a card base of So Saffron. I just wanted something nice and light to kind of accentuate that yellow gradient that we have in the background. And so there'll be a little bigger border around this piece here. Just try to eyeball it and make sure it's all the same all the way around. And then the last thing that I'm adding to my card are some of these elegant faceted gems. And I just wanted to use the white ones. So I'm adding five to my card today. Just gonna get a little more putty out so that I can pick these up easier. Just gonna place three at the top. We'll do two large and one small. Let's put that one over just a little bit more. And then we'll do one large and one small here at the bottom. And our card is all done. I hope you enjoyed watching me create this beautiful card with the new soft pastels from Stampin' Up! Make sure to continue on with the Global Stampin' Video Hop to see what the others have made. Click on the link to the next video in the description below. If you're interested in purchasing product, seeing written instructions, or close-up images of this card, you can visit my blog, creativechelsea.com. Thanks so much for watching. Have a creative day. Bye.